Hey guys, Triple R here with the next part of the Layers of Fear DLC Inheritance. Now, we have made it into this room with code 165. And fucked if I know why. I mean, it's just. I really don't get it. Oh, hang on. Okay. So we went for the mother last time. Let's go check out the father. You've got to be shitting me. Okay, so it's leading me. <laughs> um okay so up I go what time is it um So the little hand is between the three and the six, so that would be painting, I suppose. Is that it? Is that really all that's in here? I've still got the frickin' paint on me. Oh, there's a door there. Oh, great creepy hallway. Well, that was quite, quite, quite. I was gonna say pretty. Brutal and then change it to what what I the can't do this you. Son of a bitch. They have done a great job with this game of making it creepy as f Fire. Fire. What? That's all very well and all. But how do I get out? Whoa! Holy crap. Rocking horse! Save me, rocking horse! Save me from the freaky fire! Okay, Mr. Mental Person, leave the girl alone. Oh great, we're back to the creepy brick and floor. What? Okay, so when is this... 165 gonna come in. Am I supposed to remember it for like the entire game? Ooh. Probably have I got out of the way. <laughs> right.
I'm going to inspect over here first. Excuse you. Ooh. Aha, uh -huh, I found a piece of the face. Crayons. What the hell? I'm gonna go back over here and up the step. Up the stairs. Because I can. Okay. So what do we have up here? Isn't this the same room? Except it has a very strange expanding and contracting planet. <laughs> Screw you. Creepy child. I'll kick you. Why? There we go. Another part is mine. What the f fucking hell? I should really get that fixed. Up we go. What the hell is going to be next? This is def. This isn't as so to say scary as the first game. I, mean, I, I wasn't scared of the first one, but it, it was scarier. If you get what I mean. Yeah, get you with your burning. Timber! So where's the piece of picture? Oh! On the back. There's a frickin' knife in it. Jesus. I'm guessing one more floor. Then we should have the full picture. I just don't know what it's gonna throw at me next. A door, <laughs> apparently. Oh no, it was only three pieces, not four. Oh, hey there, young lady. Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right, you can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, she does to me. Okay. Whoa. Just a wall. So where the hell am I supposed to go now? Oh, another wall. Another wall. Oh, there's a door there. I am a dumbass. Okay. What do you mean locked? It's not freaking locked. Open the fucking thing. Screw you. Where's the key? There's the key. Freaking tell me it's locked. I say open. Motherfucker. 
What? A okay, there's a cute drawing and a nasty drawing. What the fudge? Okay. So I'm back in here. Now what? Am I trapped in this place or something? How the hell do I get out of this? Is it just a never ending repeat? Okay, so I'm gonna try this way again. So this is new. <laughs> Screw you, doll. I'm gonna frickin' get you, you freaky little child. Pandas? And what precisely has pandas got to do with anything? Ah, there we go. Well, you. Oh. What? Okay. Screw you, creepy doll. Birthday cake. Are you out of your mind? What? You said there was gonna be a party. I just started a bit early. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, that looks like quite a tasty cake. Excluding the pencil topping. Oh, feckin' hell. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, that is really good. That is definitely one thing I don't like. Heights. I hate heights. But there's nothing there. There's no door. Oh, the door's around the corner, I bet. Because there's a wardrobe there to stand on. Or a bookshelf. Come on. Don't fall. Follow the creepy doll. This Another cake. Be perfect. It has to be. I'm gonna prove you wrong, all of you. That doesn't what? look as nice. Not, not now, princess. Go play with your dolls or your crayons. Daddy's very busy. Okay. So am I in some sort of jungle? Yeah, screw you. Ooh, 
Spooky. I can't stop it. Or move. Oh, hey, dog. Fun. What the hell did you do? Oh, you didn't mean to. Well, that makes it all better, doesn't it? It'll just magically unbreak because you didn't mean to. Go on, get out of here. Go to your room and break shit in there. Just take all your toys and smash them one by one. And keep at it. Maybe you'll finally get good at something. God damn it. Some people just should not be parents. What now? Inspection time. Screw you. I'm going to my room. Or not. Oh, I love cats. And interesting. We have more climbing to do. Come on. Get up there. Yep. Whoa. What the shit? Okay. I'm confused. Why does I need to do that? Oh, happy one. Freaky. Figures. I spoke too soon. So I have a cog. I have a pen. I have apple. <laughs> and... Wait, where'd it go? Poor kitty. I want to fix it, damn it. So, I'm going up again. Oop, nope, fell off. <laughs> right. Now, focus on the middle of the beam. Well, I would if it wouldn't, if it stopped freaking. So, can I actually get that other one? I guess I can. Don't worry, kitty. We'll come and make you walk. Oh. Well, that's annoying. Is there nothing else in here that we can save, poor kitty? Is there nothing up there? Not really. God damn it. I know what will happen. I'll move on to the next room to have a look, and there'll be nothing there. Meow. 
Yeah, I'm not going in there yet. My business with Kitty is not finished. So let's have another look around, shall we? Okay. So up. Is there really nothing else on here? Interesting, fiery picture. Is there really nothing? How the hell do I fix Kitty? Okay. I'm guessing I can't. I must have missed something in a previous room, perhaps. Well, that's annoying. And change. Yeah, I've already seen it. Um... I guess we're going to have to ignore the cat because there's nothing. What did that do? Okay, can I turn off any more lights? There it is. How the hell do I get that? Um. Well, at least now I know where to get it. Ooh, feck. Gotcha. Wee. Next, make Kitty whole again. Now, smart. Yay. <coughs> what, Kitty? You're sick. You're insane. You're not thinking straight. You're right. I am sick. I'm sick of you not being there for us. We need you. I need you. When was the last time you slept with me? <laughs> Christ, when was the last time you even touched me? Do you know what that does to me? To, to know that my own husband is disgusted with me. Well, excuse me if I miss you. Trying to provide for this family. But no, you're right. It's much more important to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. <laughs> you call that work? You, you lock yourself in there for hours, days. You, you come out looking like shit, stinking of booze and stale piss. Oh, go on, go be with your little kitties. And close. <laughs> that was actually quite adorable. Oh, great. What sort of a room is this? What? Oh, that, that's all right, honey. Something got into mommy's eye, that's all. You be yeah, a good little girl and go to sleep. Daddy's working, so we can't disturb him. Mommy has to go downstairs and take a bath. I love you.
More than a wife, she was first and foremost his muse. Her beauty and talent drove him. After the accident, she became a burden. A disgusting monster screeching out from her bed. An anchor weighing him down. Bloody hell, that was a long segment. Right, so let's see what this one is. Little girl in the window. Oh. What the? Yeah, I missed it. There we go. Nothing. Nada. Nada. Ooh. That's Will and Testament. If you guys want to read this, feel free to pause the video. I'll probably read it another time. Um, as I've said, in, I think earlier in this video or in the previous one, I'm not a big fan of really, really long paragraphs in games. It takes away from the experience, in my opinion. There are other ways they can get information across. So... I'm going to go to the other room first because I have a feeling because we're the daughter and that was her room over there that's going to be the biggest freaking weird one of all. Or is it? And it looks like we have to go for this one first. Wow. All the paintings. What's it? Hmm. There's not really anything in here, is there? And I think I've got myself... Oh, nope. I thought I got myself stuck then, but... Luckily, I managed to get out. There really is nothing in here to interact with. It's a bit of a waste of a room, to be honest. Oh, nope. Going mad around pictures... So that means if I stand here, so nothing to do. Who's that? That's a different person, isn't it? Maybe not. Okay, let's get out. Well, this isn't what I expected. I'm guessing something's going to happen with that because it's out of focus compared to the rest of the room. So let's take a step closer. Ooh. I was right. All right, young lady. Shall we continue? No. Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner. And yet, she did not dare to move, for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster slipped into the air. Keep looking at him. Wearing even the slightest sound. 
and the princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her, and yet she knew that it was not over. God damn it. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the... <coughs> It was the evil witch herself. The wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. <laughs> the hag was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. She felt a sudden urge to run away, but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was Come precisely on. what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. Head straight! And almost there. there! The princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she... Wait. That's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. One ass. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. Well, that was difficult for the. Well, I now know where I've got to go. That was actually quite difficult to stay focused. I kept wanting to look to the sides to see exactly what was there, and... At the same time, I didn't want to look, because I didn't want to fail. So it was quite hard to actually keep it or just stay looking focused as well. You can stay closed. No door. I guess it's this way now. Good God. I don't know what I expected to find. A farewell note? A final will. What I found was an apology. Expressed in the only language he ever truly knew. At that moment, I could finally see my father for what he was. A man driven insane with sadness and guilt. Trapped in this house. A nightmarish echo chamber of past mistakes and tragedies. It was this house. A place beyond hope, beyond redemption. I knew what I had to do. Fucking hell, he's burning the house down. I had given up trying to understand my father a long time ago. But I could finally forgive him. Except you're trapped. Or not. Christ. 
quite the tail. Hey, Princess. What have you got there? Oh, that's so lovely, sweetie. But... Why pink? And there we have it. Layers of Fear Inheritance. That was awesome. A lot shorter than I expected, to be honest. But there's a nice little addition to the main story. This sort of ties it up quite nicely, because I don't think from what I can remember that the final story really tied up what happened to the girl. I mean, we know that he went mad, and... Yeah. Brilliant games, both of them. The base game and this DLC. So if you want to play them for yourselves, so you can get the other endings from the main game, as always, the links will be in the description for the rest of the playlist if you want to watch it, or the link to the game if you want to buy it. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this playthrough. I've loved it. It's been good to be back in this universe again with the well, the Layers of Fear universe because I love this game. I, it's one of my favourite horrors of the last few years, to be honest. So yeah, thank you for watching and as always, I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye.